To write the name for NCL3, we first need to figure out what type of compound we have. Nitrogen, that's right here, and nitrogen is a nonmetal. Chlorine, over here, another nonmetal. Two nonmetals mean that we have what's called a molecular or a covalent compound. So we can use these rules to write the name for NCL3. First, we write the name for both the elements. And note the second name starts with a lowercase letter. Then we change the ending on the second element to IDE. So we cross out INE and we write IDE. So at this point, we have nitrogen chloride. Now we'll use prefixes and put those in front of each element based on how many atoms are present. So for nitrogen, we only have one. And since nitrogen is the first name, we don't do anything. We just leave it as nitrogen. For the chloride here from our chlorine, we have three of these. We have three, we're gonna put tri in front of the chloride. So the name for NCL3 is nitrogen trichloride. If you were given the name, you'd know that nitrogen trichloride was NCL3. You have nitrogen, tri means three of the chlorine atoms. This is Dr. B with the name for NCL3, nitrogen trichloride. Thanks for watching.